in this forecast. A cold front will roll through the southern plains, which may bring severe weather later this week. And we have breaking details on the tropical storm in the Pacific Ocean, which will target the Gulf of Mexico soon. Here's the latest on those stories now. This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four-minute forecast, and let's get right into that big pattern change coming to Texas later this week. We have a low-pressure system currently centered across the Rocky Mountains as of right now. Now, this will move off to the northeast, and by Thursday, it'll be centered over Canada. Now, why am I talking about this low-pressure system? Well, it actually will bring a cold front that will extend all the way down into the southern plains during Thursday and Friday, which might bring some shower and storm activity to portions of North Texas. You can see going to Thursday, eventually that low-pressure system is closer to area is in Canada, eventually going to Friday and start to see Sunday and Monday, the high pressure system will build back into North Texas, most likely during Sunday or Monday. Now, by Tuesday and Wednesday of this upcoming week, so not this week, but the following week, we'll eventually see another little dip in the jet stream, which might actually bring some severe weather to our region. So that's going to be something to watch. It's really far out, but we might see something like that heading into the next week. Not this week, but next week. All right, let's take a look at the precipitation over the next few days. We have a chance for some isolated storms going into late Tuesday, basically across uh, the Panhandle of Texas, basically where we saw severe weather yesterday uh, for those that were basically west of Wichita Falls and basically around Childress. Might be some storm activity there on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll have some scattered showers and storms across Oklahoma and Kansas. Eventually, by Thursday, the same thing goes for those days as well. By Friday, that cold front will start to dip down. We might see some scattered showers and storms near North Texas. The coverage, the precipitation, how much we'll see is a huge question mark still. Just stay updated again with North Texas weather, so I'll have more details for you as we get closer. Eventually, going into Saturday, we'll probably stay dry through most of the upcoming weekend, but then it goes going into the following week might see some more storm activity then all right big news in the tropics as of right now we currently have a tropical storm agatha right now it's going right now toward the gulf or basically toward mexico right now and this will become a category two hurricane by the way it's going to actually make landfall likely late monday and as a uh, category two hurricane so this can be a system to really watch now why am i mentioning this because i don't talk about pacific ocean weather that often but this is actually going to be going toward the gulf of mexico that's why i've been mentioning it in my forecast because it will make impacts to the united states it looks like in some regard now, again, it might be in terms of a tropical depression. It might be just a low pressure system, or it might be even a tropical storm. It's still a bit of a question mark. Here's what the computer models are showing as of right now, long term. Most of them are keeping it away from Texas, and that would be mainly due to the fact they'll probably have a cold front coming through, drifting this low pressure system probably off to the northeast. Now, where will this go? Well, it's going to go between either Louisiana or into the Caribbean. That's kind of the range as of right now, basically anywhere between here and here. Uh, again, it could be just going south of Florida. It could go into Florida. Florida seems to be the main track of this storm though as of right now so it'll be something to watch for florida as of right now this is the intensity guide so it'll make landfall as either a category one or a low-end category two hurricane and eventually going into the weekend and basically in early next week you can start to see that it will be back down to a tropical depression when it enters the gulf of mexico to likely redevelop into a at least a low to moderate tropical storm so between 40 to 65 mile per hour winds would likely be possible with that sort of storm now here's a look at the radar in terms of what to expect going into this upcoming week so this is kind of the wind field at this point you can start to see going to Thursday and Friday, European Mall is starting to show that this will have a circulation basically over the Gulf of Mexico. Now, where it, really where it enters into the Gulf of Mexico it would be really determining whether it will become an actual tropical storm or whether it will be a weak, very weak tropical storm. That's kind of where we're at this point. Now, if it enters where the European Mall is showing, which is right on this little peninsula right here, uh, we very well could just see a weak tropical storm. But if it enters in this area here, that could very well become a more of a moderate, strong tropical storm in that regard. Eventually going to next week, this is the following week, it will eventually make landfall like are on Sunday or Monday of the upcoming week. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's still about 10 to 15 days out. All right, temperatures today will be waking up. If you're already wake, woken up by now, it's probably going to be in the low to mid-70s across the area. Eventually by the afternoon, you can see most of us will be in the mid-90s and eventually the low 100s back out to the west. And if you have any Memorial Day plans for tomorrow, temperatures will not be nearly as hot as today. Most of us in the low to mid-90s across the Metroplex. Wichita Falls a little bit cooler, only 94. But again, Childress, Abilene, and San Angelo are going to all have to deal with that extreme heat with low 100s forecasted here's the latest north texas weather center seven day forecast and you can see again temperatures over the next several days will be actually dropping very sl slowly but surely by one degree every day uh the basically low 90s all week we'll be eventually see a cold front come through as i mentioned before temperatures back into the mid 80s it looks like by thursday and friday before they get back to summer like conditions likely going into next weekend this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all dense repair and the dashner law firm